What's up, what's up, guys? Welcome to Just and Trends here on Studio 2 TV. My name is Babo, your one and only, and I'm going to be breaking down all the issues trending on all our social media platforms. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow Studio 2 TV everywhere. So these issues are hot, they are spicy, so I can't wait any longer. Let's just get right into today's video. So, Sakodie is celebrating his wife's birthday and he took to his Twitter page to post this sweet message. He says, I celebrate you every day for just being you, wifey, but today is a special one, a day you came into this world. Thanks for everything, my boss Tracy Owusu Ado. Happy birthday. And then he attached a few pictures of them together and his wife like, hey, you boy just giving us pressure. And Yao Pono is also celebrating his daughter's seventh birthday. And then he also took to his page and then he wrote, seven, year old, seven years old today. Daddy loves you so much. Blessings and job protection. The pressure will not catch us. So no matter what happens, we are still standing strong with our fortunes. But then away from that, the Nigerian elections are also causing a whole lot of records on the social media platforms. You know, it's like what you didn't want is what you are getting. It's where they are, own person will bet us here. But then send your eye on soon, soon, the awenyana, no wenyao. The awenyana, no wenya. Because sometimes, when, when, this, when this election started, and then we were seeing a whole lot of tweets, a whole lot of posts and issues, if something would have been done about it, it would have been done then. So I really don't think that all the post-election issues are going to avail much. But then, who am I to know? Maybe this could be the first time something will be changed. So Peter Obi took to his page after he attended a press conference, so then, away from that, he actually posted on his page. He says, I have just finished addressing an international press conference. I urge Nigerians to remain resolute. We won this election, and we will prove it to Nigerians. We shall reclaim our mandate via due process. Please do not despair. And then a few hours after that, he posted again. He said, however, let me humbly and most respectfully Appeal to all Nigerians to remain peaceful, law-abiding, and conduct themselves in a most responsible manner. And I actually commend him for that post, because sometimes when things don't go our way or they don't go the way we expect, we tend to feel certain emotions which may cause us to do certain things. But then coming from someone that people were actually looking forward to, I think it's also going to go a long way to prevent people from actually taking to acts of violence and then ended up in, ending up in hospitals or even police stations. Nanaba also has posted something. She said, religion and tribalism are two of the biggest problems on the African continent. Well, this is from Nanaba, but then I'm also putting it to you, my lovely audience viewers. Make sure you do let me know what you are thinking in the comment section. But then for me, I actually do think that it may be true that religion and tribalism are one of the biggest are two of the biggest issues that we face but then these issues are also things that are helping us remain peaceful because even all religions advocate for peace they advocate for love amongst each other and then Ghana is actually known as one of the countries that are peaceful Ghana is also known as one of the countries that are religious and I believe that that is one of the things that is actually holding us together, religion. Because if someone should do something to me that I'm not happy with, at least my religion tells me something. Someone's religion also tells me something, tells them something. So together we are actually holding on no matter how difficult it is. So it may be two of the issues that African continent we are facing, the, the continent of Africa is facing, but then, Religion is also two of it's also one of these is one of these things that is actually helping us in a way. Moving from that, Americans now have their Kumasi Central Mosque, and then no, let just look at these pictures.
if you look at these pictures and you are a Muslim and you will not go and pray, I really don't know what you are looking for again. And then, you know, I actually feel like even those who are not going to the mosque, they were, they were thinking, okay, should I convert? Shouldn't I? This, this is enough to tell you where you should stay. And then the Christians that were thinking that they should convert or not, I think this is also going to push them to, you know, Kumekans already, they, they brag. I don't actually letting us breathe. Pictures seen them, baby. We have a mosque. We have, hey, yes, yes, mean cash because it really is nice. When you look at all the pictures from it, you won't see me almost in here, Ankasa. But then I hope it's going to look like that for a long time. Me and Kashi, I'm going to leave it just here. I'm going to leave it just here. This wraps up Just and Trains. Thank you guys so, so much for watching today's video. Make sure you like, share, comment down below what you think of all that we have discussed here today. My name is Babo, your one and only, and I'll see you in the next one.